Hi, I'm Dtina Johnson here in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania at the 2021 OCB Yorton Cup Championships. I'm here with the beautiful Teresa Elam, OCB Bikini Pro. How are you? I'm great. How are you, Tina? Good. Good. It's so great to see you. Yes, you, you always too, look always. so fantastic. And you do, and I love your <laughs> eyebrows always. <laughs> um, so it's the Jordan Cup. Yes. And this, how, how many times have you been to the Jordan? This is my third time. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm super excited. My first time I was a rookie. Mm -hmm. um, second time I got second overall. Okay. And so we're, you know, obviously aiming for the big one this time. Of course. Yeah. Yeah, as you should. Yeah. We were so close last time. I, yes. I was there. I yeah. remember it seeing you. It was so close, but, you know, it wasn't my day. Yeah. Yeah. yeah and that's okay. Yeah. So how did this prep change from, let's say, the last Jordan? I know you've been doing a lot of shows, you know, from yeah. here and there. So but. in 2020, when um, COVID happened, mm -hmm. I did do the November show. Um, it was the only pro show of the year. Mm -hmm. Um, I was going to take off, but I got married that year and I said, well, you know, um, I was in prep for the wedding. So I was like, it's only seven weeks away. Let me just do the show. Mm -hmm. um, so that was not planned, but it just happened. And then I thought I was going to take this year off mm -hmm. and it, I just got the bug again. Yeah. And so this prep was just a little different because I had some issues with my hormones mm -hmm. and some gut issues. Okay. So, this prep was a little longer, so that's why I did a couple shows before this one to kind of get my body prepared and understand what I need to do, what I don't need to do, okay. what works, what doesn't work, um, and figured it out. Okay. So this show here, I feel the most ready for. That's good. Yeah. That's good to figure that yeah. out. Do you feel like every, I mean, I'm sure every prep has been different for you, right? It has, yeah. yes. Yeah. Obviously things change, training changes, cardio changes, food changes. I think this was the most, um, it was a little bit more challenging because my stomach is very sensitive. Mm -hmm. So the foods were what I thought worked before didn't work this time. Oh, wow. So I had to change some things in the middle of being in prep when um, normally I'm, I could eat those foods and this time I, I couldn't. Mm -hmm. So, but um, this prep, honestly, I felt the best. Okay. Yeah. That's good. When to it hear. comes to like energy level and not being so tired and not being a brat, you know, yeah. to the husband. <laughs> <laughs> and your husband's also a pro. He is. Yeah. He won his master's pro card at his last show. Yep. I'm super proud of him, and he's actually still in prep. Okay. He's going to do a December show. Okay. Um, I'm aiming for that open pro card. And your daughter is a pro. And my daughter is a pro. <laughs> yeah, so it runs in the family. It does. It does. And you were the matriarch. You were the role model of all of this because that's it was you, and then the yes. rest of the family got on board. That's what and, they say. And you have a twin sister. I have a twin, yeah. So yes. when is she competing? <laughs> um, honestly, if she ever did it, she'd probably do wellness. Okay. I know that that's kind of a bug going around yeah. with the wellness. Mm -hmm. She does not like to be this fit. Mm -hmm. She likes curves. Okay. Um, but so if she ever did it, I think she would do wellness. She's said never ever, and now she's like, well, maybe. Yeah. So, you know, she's the next one on the list. You never know. You never know. <laughs> yes. So would you coach her? I would definitely. Mm -hmm. I help coach my daughter. Yeah. Obviously, he had his own coach, but, you know, I'm always in the back of his ear, mm -hmm. you know, giving him advice and things like that. So I yeah. would definitely help her 100% be her posing coach. Yeah. Um, and then help her with nutrition. And, you know, obviously, she'd have to hire a trainer, but mm -hmm. I would, I'd be a 100%. I know she's you would. She's so sad she's not here today, but she's Aww. babysitting Mariah, our daughter. Okay. Um, so that way I can be here today. And she, but she'll watch it on live stream. She's gonna definitely be watching online. And my daughter's in Kentucky. She is um, in PA school. Okay. So she would be here too. And she would have competed with me in the last show in, mm -hmm. in September, but she was getting prepared to go to school. So. Okay, yeah. yeah. But you I'm have excited. a beautiful family. Thank you I'm so, so much. excited for you, and everybody's on board, and yeah. everybody has the same goal, yes. which is awesome. It's nice to have a lot of support, and you know, we live the lifestyle, and mm -hmm. it's nice to be in prep with your husband and being in prep with your daughter. And yeah, it kind of just pushes you that next step, and just makes you feel like you have support from them. So yeah, it's and really nice. you have that support, and I know you support your family as well. But who supports you as far as your coaches? Um, I have I work with, out with Natural Bodies, mm -hmm. and Terrence Bond is my trainer. Okay. And then I also, you know, I Chad is the owner, mm -hmm. so he he's a he's kind of more like the hype man on mm -hmm. the on the backside, but it's mostly it's all Terrence. Okay. Yeah, he does okay. everything for me. He's. Um, I was sending him progress pictures this morning. He was, you're all set. And I said, can I have wine? He said, nope. <laughs> <laughs> so no glass of wine tonight. Yeah. Normally I have a glass of wine, but he said no. You'll have it tomorrow, I'm sure. i have it tomorrow, tomorrow after yeah. the show. I'm excited for all the food tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. And your number one goal for the Yorton Cup again is? Obviously to win. Okay. You I just know, want to make sure it didn't I, change. <laughs> I, always, I always say you can't, um, nothing's going to happen unless you 
you put it out there. Mm -hmm. You got to put it in the universe. Yeah. And I under I know that there's going to be a lot of amazing girls at this show. Honestly, there I feel are. like this is going to be the most competitive Yorton Cup for bikini mm -hmm. that I've ever seen. Um, three of the girls, the top three that won the last show, the Apex show, yep. they're all here. Mm -hmm. I've been talking with them. You know, I love making friends with the girls, and whether they beat me or not, I still just love the camaraderie and just getting to know everybody. Right. Um, so I know they're coming. So yeah. that just pushes me even harder yeah. watching them go through prep and I'm like, okay, I gotta get it. I gotta get it. So just coming in better and better and, and all you can do is you're really competing against yourself. Right. So, you know, the girls on stage are gonna be amazing. I know that. You know, everybody's gonna work hard mm -hmm. and whoever's gonna come on top is that's gonna be the number one. That's so, it. That's all yeah. you can do. Well, thank you so much for spending time with us. You're absolutely beautiful as always. Same I cannot wait to see you on stage tomorrow. Um, and I'll be backstage as well doing some more meet and greet and interviews and stuff like that. Yes, so hopefully we get a chance to talk again. And get a picture. Yeah, yes, absolutely. Because we keep forgetting to do that. I know, I know. <laughs> so but, um, I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. What's your number? 163. And what color suit are you wearing? I'm wearing blue. Blue. Yes, the back staple. to the blue. Okay. Yes. All right, fantastic. Yes. We'll see you tomorrow. Yes, thank you so much, You're Tina. You're welcome. Stay.